Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a very Trisha Paytas-esque video. I'm gonna be doing a mukbang, 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 whatever. I don't know how to say it. Today we're having Greek food, so I'm not gonna have a whole feast, but I did kind of order a lot, so I'm gonna show you guys what I ordered. Um, I got spenakopita. Yeah, I thought this was the... I think I ordered the wrong one. Hold on, let me try it. I meant to order something else, but I got excited. I didn't look at it. But this is like, um, I like spinach and like cheese and stuff. Baklava for dessert. I'm probably butchering all the names, but like, deal with it. <laughs> Greek salad. Oh my god, they put so much feta. Ooh. Of course, I got my tzatziki sauce. And I got pork souvlaki with rice and potatoes. And the, pot the rice from this place is bomb. Like, it's like super like, I don't know, I think it's because it's oily. I don't know what it is, but it's bomb. So I got that. <sighs> I'm so excited. I forgot to order extra tzatziki sauce, which I'm pissed off about. I'm telling you guys, I woke up so hungry and I'm just like, fuck it. Like, I'm just going to order food. I didn't really look too much at what I was ordering. I just like saw some saw stuff and I just like bought it. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. I can make it spicy, so I'm just going to add chili flakes. Oh, and I have a Coke. Okay, so I want to talk about a couple things today while I'm eating. Um, this is going to be like a kind of a slow video because I don't like to eat and talk too much. Like I don't like to talk when I'm like really like f full mouth. So bear with me, I'm sorry. This is so good guys, oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my god, my nail got stuck in the... Oh my god. I wanted to rant because um, yesterday was like a really weird day. I ranted about it on You Now. If you guys follow me on You Now and we're in that live stream, then you, you're gonna know already about the story. And you're hearing it again, but I'm like, sorry. Um, by the way, younow.com slash the amateur guru. Go ahead and become a fan. I do more live streams than I do videos now because I have more time with schooling and stuff like that. So you can always like catch up with me on there. Zodiac Q&A, stuff like that. So yesterday was a weird day. Basically, I had like the worst day ever. <laughs> and you guys are gonna laugh at the way I eat my salad. I don't know why I don't like um, certain veggies, like a lot of veggies. Like I like veggies, but wow, I just got so sidetracked. Uh, I like veggies to a certain extent. Like I don't like eating raw tomatoes, I don't like onions, and I don't like olives. So like, I'm not eating that much of the salad. It came with the food though. Um, yeah, so like yesterday was a horrible day, but somehow I stayed in a good mood. It was so weird. I don't know how. And it was just like one event after the next, after the next, after the next. Going to shit. It was so weird. I think it was like law of attraction because bad stuff kept happening. But the weird thing is usually bad stuff keeps happening to me when I'm in a bad mood or like when I'm like talking about how bad stuff keeps happening but the thing is i was alone all day yesterday at school and stuff like that so i wasn't talking to anybody i wasn't even in a bad mood i don't know what it was bad just kept happening to me so i'm gonna tell you about my day and um i think this is gonna get ranty but like what else is new i'm always bitching about something right so mm, i'm in paradise right now <laughs> I still haven't gotten to my day. I still haven't. I'm just enjoying my food too much. Just <laughs> I just dropped rice. Okay, so basically, um, oh my god, I'm so sorry to, to sidetrack again. I know you guys probably think I'm the worst. This is me in a normal conversation. Before I even start, all this cost seventeen dollars. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um. For like where I'm from, that's really cheap because food and stuff here is super expensive. But then again, I did get free delivery, and then I also got a seven dollar coupon. So you know, maybe it was expensive, but yeah, seventy dollars for all this. So I was pretty sick. So my day started off bad. I had an eight thirty a.m. class. Oddly enough, I had enough sleep. Okay, so because I slept so early that the night before. 
I slept at like 11 o'clock which is weird for me. I usually sleep at 4 a.m. Um, I thought like, okay, I'm gonna get up pr properly. Like I'm actually gonna wake up. I'm not gonna, you know, sleep in or whatever. So I set my alarm for um, 5.50. Really? Really, like really? Oh my God. Like who's even calling my house phone? Like nobody knows our number. Who even calls house phones anymore? I finally started the story. And the freaking house phone rings. Okay. So, yeah, I set my alarm for like 5:50, and um, this is because I have to leave my house at 6:42. I know it's so early. It's because my bus. I have to walk to the bus stop, take the bus at seven. And then the bus takes about an hour and 15 minutes to get to my school because my school's really far. And then on top of that, um, it brings me 15 minutes early. So yeah, it's a, it's a whole process. So I had to leave my house at 6.50, or 6, sorry, 6.42, and my alarm was set for 5.50. So I wake up at like 5.51, and I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to do my hair today. I'm not going to put on makeup. I'm just going to wake up a little bit later, give myself another 15 minutes. I'll wake up in 15 minutes. So I set my alarm. But I don't think I said it properly, so I just f***ing slept. And I wake up at like 6.57 or something like that, and I'm like, oh sh**. I get up, I'm like, oh no, 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 I'm gonna be late. And on top of this, I missed the first two classes of this class, like the first two lectures. So I'm like, I have to go, like even if I'm late, I have to go, because I can't just keep missing it. Like, it's important, I'm in university, this shit's important, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm in high school, even college. Like, university is intense. Sorry, I'm chewing. <laughs> this is only the beginning, by the way. This is, like, the least important part of the story. But I'm just going to tell you guys because I'm just, I want you guys to see how it gets progressively worse throughout the day. This rice is f***ing bomb. So then after that, I wake up and I get ready super fast. I'm like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. And then the next bus comes at, uh... I don't remember what time, but the next bus will get me to class like 45 minutes late. So I'm like, you know what? Better than nothing. It's a three and a half hour class. I'm going to do it. So I leave my house. I get to the stop like seven, eight minutes early. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. The bus isn't showing up. So I'm just like, okay, um, like I need to get to school. Like, I, like this is coming really late. It's starting to piss me off. And then after like 20 minutes, I'm like, you know what? I think I missed the bus. Seven to eight minutes early and my ass missed the bus. This is why I hate transit over here. So then I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm going to have to Uber to the train station or the, the, the go station. And from there, I can take the bus that goes next to that stop. And they have an express bus. It takes like 25 minutes because it has no stops. So I'm like, okay, Uber my ass to the go station. $9 Uber. I get to the GO station. The express bus has stopped running because they are, sorry, the express buses aren't running because they only run during rush hour, so they start at 9.30. So I'm like, what the hell? So then I have to wait for the next bus to take me. It's going to take an hour and a half. So I'm like, oh my god. So I get on the bus and I get to school and I'm about an hour late for class. Okay? Mm. I skipped something. Sorry. Before I'm getting on the bus, this is be, and I'm holding a hot, steaming hot tea. Because I bought a tea and a muffin at the GO station, okay? There's a bee on my fucking hand. I'm trying to swat it. I'm trying to get on the bus, and the girl behind me like, is like, oh, sorry, are you getting on? Because I'm like walking crisscross, crisscross, about to get on the bus, and I'm making a fool out of myself, and I'm just like, I'm so sorry, there's a bee, like, it's on me. And she like looks at me, like rolls her eyes, and then walks past me and gets on the bus. So I'm like, okay, bitch, like, what the f That was rude of her. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't like the way, like, that's the kind of thing that you just kind of like laugh along with the person, then you just like, you know, move on, or like, so that you don't feel awkward. That's what I would do anyway. It's like, I'm nice to strangers. Like, I don't go out of my way to be super nice to people, but like, if they're nice to me, I'm nice to them. You know what I mean? Like, if someone says like, oh, sorry, like, there's a bee or some shit, then I just say something like, oh, no, and like, you know, walk past them. But she like rolled her eyes as if I was just getting in her way. I'm like, bitch, like. So she gets on. Quote's in front of me, by the way. 
And um, yeah, because I'm swatting the bee and it's like literally on my hand, like I can feel it. I'm spilling my tea everywhere. Steaming hot tea is all over my hand. So now I'm here about to get on the bus with steaming hot tea all over me. Part of my tea's gone. There's a bee in front of me. I get on the bus and I tap my like Presto card, which is like the card that you use to get on the bus. It's like a Metro Pass kind of thing. And it says that it has no funds on it, even though I loaded it. So I was just like, okay, like, what the hell? So I try my other Presto. It doesn't work. So I'm like, okay. So then I had to pay out of my pocket to get a ticket. So that's already $20 gone because that's like a $9 bus, $9 Uber. So that's like $18 already spent just to get to school. So I get on the bus and I sit in my usual seat. And there's a stupid ass fly there that's dying. So because the fly is dying, it's like, it's when you try and swat it, because you know how like when you swat a fly, it like moves, right? So when you try and swat it, it doesn't move. So it's just like slowly crawling. It's literally dying. And this fly kept going on me. So I go going like this to get it off me. And it's just chilling there because it's dying. So I had to like touch it. It was so gross. And then it just kept going to my tea. And then because the bus was so shaky, my tea kept spilling on me, so I took my napkin out of my bag and I put it right on the lid of the tea, like where it opens, and then the tea, the napkin got soaked with tea, so then I had to dispose of that, and I was just like, oh my god, like, ugh. The tea's all over the place, like, I have a stupid muffin in my hand that's crumbling, and it only has saran wrap, I don't have any napkins anymore, and then there's a dying fly next to me. And the bus keeps shaking, so I can't even do anything in the meantime because I'm waiting for the bus to stop shaking so I can properly put my tea down, wipe it up, and then, like, you know, chill. So I'm getting frustrated because I just have to sit there until the bus stops shaking like an idiot, just pause, you know what I mean? Like, I'm literally sitting there holding my tea, like, waiting, waiting, waiting for the bus to stop shaking. I'll take a sip. So then, I'm, like... I don't know why, but I'm not in a bad mood yet. I'm just chilling. I'm just like, you know, I'm getting a little bit frustrated, but I'm okay. So then, um, that's about 30 minutes of that. Fly finally falls. I don't know where it went. Whatever. So then I get to school. I get to my class. Hmm. First of all, it's obviously full. So I have to sit between these two girls. No space at all. I'm just going to bump the girl with my jacket. Or she like moved over and like basically away from me kind of thing hmm toronto people are snobby just saying toronto people are definitely snobby so then tell me why my professor finishes class an hour early so i'm like what, what what so i came to class for 20 minutes i came to class for 20 minutes and that was my only class that day so I literally spent like $20 plus $5 on the muffin and tea, well $4.50, um, on the muffin and tea, put my ass through all that for 20 minutes of class. So I sit there like, are you, are you kidding me? I came to school for this. So then I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm at school. I may as well find the spot, sit down and like just study, edit some videos. Maybe, you know, just get some stuff done. <laughs> so I find a spot or whatever. Of course, the spot that I choose to sit in, there's this freaking girl performing with her guitar I don't know why it was like 9 in the morning 10 in the morning probably he was just performing on a guitar and everyone's like <laughs> I'm just like the one spot that I find to sit in where no one's gonna sit down next to me and I can chill I can do my stuff I can eat I can whatever of course there's a freaking live performance going on so I just had to deal with that then all of a sudden I start feeling some cramps coming on. So I'm like, oh no, oh no. Because TMI, but my period's like seven days late. So I was just like pushing it, you know what I mean? Like, I was just kind of like living my life as if I'm not going to get it, even though I knew I was going to get it. Obviously. So then, I get my period. I get my period. <laughs> and you want to know the best part? I gave my last freaking pad. I'm so sorry to the guys watching this. Um, I gave my last pad to a girl the day before because she, she didn't want to like wear her friend's tampon. So I just like went up to her. I'm like, hey, listen, I, like, I have a pad if you want it because I didn't even have money. So I'm like, here, take it. She's like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then like, I did my good deed for the day and whatever. And then the next day I'm like, oh my God, I shouldn't have given it to her. My stupid ass. So then I didn't have anything. So I texted my sister because we go to the same school and I'm like, yo, do you have anything? She said, no, sorry, man. So then I couldn't even do work. 
It was that was happening. The performance was going on. All of that. Go to the washroom. Thank you, God, that I could buy one for 25 cents in the dispensary. The dispensary. The machine. It dispenses them. I don't know. A little machine. So I bought one. I was like, okay, thank you, God. Like, one good thing happened today. Oh, my God. I forgot about this thing. I keep forgetting about it. It's so bomb, though. It's not the one I wanted, but it's bomb. Mmm. One second, let me just check my phone real quick. So then my day is just going to sh I'm like, okay, I gotta go home now because I'm just, I have cramps and um, there's nowhere else to sit because the school's full at this time and like, I don't want to sit in like the library because there's like, I just don't like sitting in the library for some reason. I know that's weird, but I just don't like the library. So I'm like, I'm going home. So my ass goes to the go bus and um, hmm, <laughs> My Presto card's not working again. Even though it was working the day before. Even though I loaded the money on it. It's not working for some reason. I have to go buy another ticket. That's $30 gone at this point, okay? $30 gone at this point. So then, I get on the go bus. I'm chilling, getting in video, okay? The bus stops at the go station. And then I, I know, like, everyone's getting off. Everyone's getting off. So I go down the stairs and I ask the bus driver, I'm like, is this the one that stops here? Or is this the one that goes a couple more stops? Because I need the one that goes a couple more stops. But they have the same bus number. So, he said, this is the one that stops here. This is the last stop, so you have to get off. So I'm like, but I, like, oh my, oh my god, I forgot to mention two other things that happened. Anyway, so, um... So I'm like, okay, but I, I need to get to the next couple stops. Like, I needed the next four stops. This is the last stop. And he's like, yeah, you need to get off. I'm like, are you f***ing kidding me? So I took the wrong bus because they have to say one of the bus numbers has an A in it and one of them doesn't. And I forgot that one has an A because every time I leave school, it's always at the same, t same time. So I'm used to the schedule now. <gasps> Can you shut up, please? I'm t trying to talk. Um, so. Okay, I guess I'm just going to eat while that rings. I'm getting frustrated all over again, man. So then, I'm like, shit, because like, the go station is far. Like, I can't walk. I can't bus. I'll tell you why in a second. And <clears throat> Uber is $9. So, what I forgot to mention is that earlier on in the day, my phone had died. Want to know what else? My charger broke. So there's like a phone stand in, in our school. You know those like mall phone stands? We have one of those. So I go to the phone stand and I'm like, can I buy a charger? So I bought a $12 charger. Okay, so what's this so far? This is what, $42 gone now? So I bought a charger. I go about my day. I get on the bus, charge my phone in my laptop. And it's not charging, it's going zzz, 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 zzz. And you see the lightning bolt flashing on, off, on, off, on, off, because it's not charging. It's literally like charging for a second, and then not. And then charging for a second, and then not. So the charger didn't work. So, yeah, that happens. I get off at the GO station, and I look in my wallet, and I don't have change to take the bus. And then I sit down, and then I go, <clears throat> and I go in my bag, I try my laptop again, is not charging so I go inside the ghost station thing like where I bought my muffin and stuff I try to open the door and the door is freaking locked because it closed at 11 30 in the morning who closes at 11 30 in the morning so I can't even go in and use a wall outlet and try and charge my phone with the charger because sometimes it doesn't work in my laptop for some reason so I'm like maybe it's just the laptop doors are locked payphones are inside I go in my bag I mean, I didn't even, I don't think I had enough change for payphone. I had like 25 or 50 cents. So I go in my bag, trying to find change. My bus, can't find anything. I can't call an Uber because even Uber like online doesn't work because you need to verify it with your phone number. So, um, because they had Wi-Fi by the way. So I tried my laptop and I had Wi-Fi 
and I'm like trying to do Uber online so I can call an Uber and I can get home. I'm fucking stranded at the go station and I'm just sitting there like I want to cry and it's burning hot and my stupid ass brought a jacket. So I'm sitting there like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? And then like I tried FaceTiming my sister because my sister would call me an Uber and then just pay her back at home, right? So I tried FaceTiming her, she's not answering. So I just sit there like, what am I supposed to do? My MacBook's on 9%. I need to think fast. So then I finally realized, that, okay, I can call Daniela. She has a car. So I called Daniela on FaceTime and she's like, okay, yeah, I can come get you. So I'm like, yeah, I'll buy you bubble tea or something. Like, just like, I just need you to come get me. And if you don't know Daniela from my channel, she's my friend. Um, she lives really close to me. So then she picked me up and then I just like had a mental breakdown in the car. I started ranting about my whole f***ing day. And um, then we got bubble tea and I went home. And that was that. <laughs> That was that. It was a terrible day. It was a terrible, terrible, terrible day. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what happened. One thing after the next, you know? Mm-mm. See, the phone charger works now. It's not my laptop. I don't know what it is. Phone chargers don't work on my laptop. Like, iPhone chargers don't work on my laptop anymore. Like, they just go zzz, 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 Unless I buy, like, an Apple brand one. And I'm not trying to buy an Apple brand charger. Because those things cost $35. And, um, I break all of them. They just spit. I break all of them. Like, I couldn't tell you the last time I, like, had a charger for a long time. Like it didn't break, or I was just like lost or something. No, it always break. I shouldn't say that law of attraction, but you know, like it is what it is, though. You know, I don't know what it is. Yesterday was terrible. Today's much better. I have the day off. I ordered food. <laughs> food that I'm really enjoying. Um. I have a lot left of it too. <laughs> I'm happy. Mm, Want to know another funny thing? That happened yesterday? Wait, was it yesterday or the day before? I, I don't know, either one. So, basically, there's this guy that I know not too well. This is another story I told in my live stream. Not too many people were in that live stream though. So that's what I'm saying on my channel. Um, otherwise I don't really repeat stories like this. So, there's this guy that I know. Not very well. I know him from the club. Basically, I go into his booth, drink his alcohol, and just have fun with his friends and him and um, hang out for the night like with my friends and his friends at the club. I only know him through the club. I've never chilled with him one-on-one. -on -one. I don't text him on a regular basis. I don't think, I don't know him well. However, he's an Aquarius. Hmm. So, this guy, this guy, I get a snap from him. And I see the Snapchat name, and I'm like, let's call him, uh, uh, uh Daryl? Daryl. There's a drop food. I'm I did. <laughs> so, I see the name Daryl on my phone. I sent you a Snapchat. I'm like, why did Daryl send me a Snapchat? I don't know him like that. So I'm like, opening it. It's an article. It's an article that was posted on Snapchat that said, um, reasons why semen is better for your skin than blah 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 or something like that. Like, semen is good for your skin or like, I don't remember, something about like, come on your face is like great for your health. So I was just like, I'm sorry, like, do I know you like that for you to be sending me some nonsense like that? <laughs> because it's not like he's my friend. Like, if you're my guy friend and we're like close and like you send it to me as a joke, like, oh, here you go. Like, I won't take it personally because I know you're not saying it to me because you're implying like, oh, like, you should let guys do this to you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you should let me do this to you. Like, it's just like more of a joke, like, because you're my friend. 
okay? Or if it was like my boyfriend and he sends it as a joke. You're my boyfriend. But if a guy that I don't know sends it to me, I just find that disrespectful. <laughs> I just do. That's just who I am. And the way that he was replying to me after I messaged him was like implying like, kind of like I'm a prude or something. Like, it's just a joke, like blah, blah, blah. But like, no, like maybe the little thotties that you hang out with from the club will think that's funny and be like, ha ha, oh, Daryl. But I don't know you like that, so don't be sending me stuff like that. You know what I mean? So I said, LOL, W2F. And why'd you, send, why'd you send this to me? Something like that. Like, why are you sending me this? You want to know what this guy said? <laughs> let, me just, let me just take a bite before I tell you what this guy said. Just give me, just give me one second. <laughs> It was a good bite. My angle might be different because literally the second that I was about to tell you what he said, it like shut off, I think, because I, I had recorded 30 minutes of footage. I didn't know it had been that long, but apparently I'm a really slow eater. So, this guy says, I've sent it to the girls who I think wear too much makeup. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the amount of makeup on my face was any of your damn business, okay? I didn't, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that it personally affected your life. I, I was not made aware of that. Um, now that I know, I'll make sure not to wear too much makeup. So yeah, I'm, I apologize, fucking Daryl. So I'm just like, <sighs> first of all, first of all, I don't even know why I explain myself to him because I don't have to explain myself to him because it's my face. It's my face. I don't even wear makeup most of the time. When I go to work, I don't wear makeup. When I go to school, I don't really wear makeup. Um, the only time I wear makeup to work is when I had just finished filming like five videos. So I have a full face on, so I'm not gonna wash it off to go to work. Like I just go to work with whatever my face looks like. But if I don't have anything to do prior to going to work or anything like that, um, I don't wear makeup. School, I don't really wear makeup. And if I do, it's my eyeliner, mascara, and brows. No foundation, no blush, no contour, none of that. Just eyeliner, mascara, brows. When I go out for breakfast and stuff like that, I don't really wear makeup unless I'm going like downtown. I don't even wear makeup that much. He just thinks that I wear a lot of makeup because on my Instagram pictures, I mostly have a full face um, because that, those are the days that I look the best. So obviously I'm gonna take a bunch of selfies and obviously those are the selfies I'm gonna put on Instagram. He thinks because of that, because of the fact that the only time I see him is when I'm at the club. Who doesn't wear a full face of makeup to the club? If I didn't have the full face of makeup, he probably wouldn't have hit on me and he probably wouldn't have wanted to get me into his booth or anything. Because the only reason that that happens is because I looked good. And I'm not saying I don't look good without makeup, but I'm saying that because everybody at the club has a bunch of makeup on, that if you don't have makeup on, <laughs> they're mostly paying attention to the girls who are, you know, went all out on their face because that's how guys are. They're the ones that'll hit on the girls with a lot of makeup. They're the ones that'll get a, be really attracted to them and think they're attractive and whatnot. But then when they see them without makeup, it's like, <sighs> they don't like it. But then they're like, I want a natural girl. I want a girl who's naturally beautiful. I hate girls who wear makeup, but it's like you are attracted to girls who wear a shit ton of makeup. So you pick and choose what you want, you asshole. So anyways, so I like briefly said, I don't even wear makeup unless I'm filming a video. So I don't know where you got that one, got that from, but you got the wrong one. And then he's just like, um, oh, trust me. I know you wear a lot of makeup. I've seen your stuff on YouTube. And I said, I just said, I wear makeup on YouTube. Like, I don't, like what? So then he's just like, um, it's not that deep, lol, chill. And I said, it's not that it's that deep. It's that you don't know me like that. So don't be talking to me like that. I hardly know you. And then I said, um, if I feel disrespected, I'm going to say something. Because like I'm not going to sit around and let you talk to me the way that you want. Like I'm sorry, what? Like Who are you? So, um, but then, he's just like, oh my bad. I think that um, it wasn't communicated properly because it's through text. If it wasn't in text, it wouldn't have been as bad. 
And then I'm like, imagine you're a girl and a guy you don't know sends you an article about how you should put more cum on your face and then tells you you wear too much makeup. And that's why I sent it to you. That's not a good look. It's just not. So um, he's just like, oh my bad, something, something. But you could tell he was just saying that. Like, you know that he probably didn't even think that, like, what I was saying was valid or, you know, I had any good reasoning behind why I was annoyed with him. So the conversation ended shortly after that. And I was just like, I just felt disrespected. Who are you? Just send me a stupid article like that. And then tell me what you think about how I do my makeup. Like, who are you? Hmm. Boys, man. These guys on Snapchat are just like this. They, I don't know what it is about Snapchat, but guys get stupid on Snapchat. One time, oh my God, I'm going off. I should probably finish this, this video soon. It's really long. A guy replied to my snap story picture. And this is a guy that I was friends with in college. Like, it's not like I didn't know him. We had conversations. We'd hung out one-on-one. -on -one, and we were friends, I would say. He replied to my story and said, let me smash. And I just said, is that how you speak to a woman? Because, like, what? Like, like, what? So I just literally just said, is that how you speak to a woman? And he said, um, well, I like to get straight to the point. Um, if I want something, I'm just going to say so. So can I smash? And I said, no. What the hell? Are you kidding me? You think, what, you think I'm just going to be like, yeah, like, when are you free? Let's meet up tomorrow. <laughs> no, like, I'm, so, who do you think you are? It's just so bad because it's like, it's not like he was just a stranger that added me on Snapchat from Instagram or, or something like that. Like, that's different. Like, I wouldn't find it as disrespectful. I would just open it and not answer and just, like, laugh like guys are so stupid. <gasps> Sorry. But, um, because I knew this guy and we were friends, I just, like, found it to be, like, a slap in the face. Like, do you really think that I'm that kind of person, first off? And second off, like, I didn't even know you were looking at me like that. Like, obviously, guys are guys. Like, they look at females in a certain way no matter what. But, like... I don't know, like, we were cool, like, we were friends, like, we had good conversations, you know? So, I said, um, no, I'm good. Um, I said something else, like, I, like, don't message me with that nonsense. Don't message me with that bullshit, like, no. I don't know who you think I am, but no. And then he's like, um, my bad, um, not even my bad. He didn't even say my bad, he said, I'm the straightforward person. I tell it how it is, so I was just asking you if you wanted to. And I was just, I just didn't answer him and I deleted him on Snapchat, but he still watches my stories. He's a Libra. Yeah, he's an asshole. Guys are dumb, okay? Guys are dumb. So that's that. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know what this, this um, mukbang's about. Me ranting. Talking about stupid boys. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm going to end it here. I'm getting pretty full. I'm probably going to eat. I just wanted to talk about some stuff. Um, but it's getting really long. Before I go, I do want to try this um, baklava because it looks bomb. And I want to see how it is. I don't think I've ever gotten baklava from a Greek place. I usually get it from like um, Lebanese, like Arab places, like shawarma huts and stuff like that. So let's try this. I never eat it with a spoon, but I'm going to save this. I'm not going to eat this now. I'm literally just trying it. I'm just going to save it because I like to drink this, drink tea with this and just chill out and like edit and stuff like that. Just have tea. That's how it is. Mmm. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. Oh my god, that's good. Wow. Wow. This place has good food, guys. Really good food. I think that concludes my mukbang. Mukbang. Someone needs to correct me. Can someone, like, write out for me how it's pronounced in the comments below? Like, please. Please, I, I don't want to keep making fool out of myself. Um, so as you guys know, this is my first mukbang. 
Um, if you guys want to see more of these, make sure to let me know or give the video a thumbs up because this is the kind of thing that I wouldn't do unless you guys want to see them because why, why would I? You know what I mean? So if you guys enjoy it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and make sure to let me know if you can just so I know and I can do it again. If not, I probably won't do it again because I, I don't, if nobody likes to watch them, like I'd rather just eat my food in front of a TV or in front of a computer, you know what I mean? So let me know. I'll definitely do more for you guys. Okay. I'm still cheering, sorry. I was gonna do my little outro, but my mouth is full. Can I just say, if my mom knew I was eating on this table, she would kill me because um, this is like the table that people don't eat on. <laughs> the table for people when they come over and stuff like that so she would actually like murder me so yeah i just thought i'd let you guys know of that fact i'm closing up my food now all right guys so thank you so much for hanging out with me while i eat and um talk about stuff i <laughs> bitch about stuff i hope you guys enjoyed this little mukbang mukbang mula, whatever you want to call it um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!